Hello, I'd like to invite you today to make some crispy fawerki. It's incredibly simple to prepare and with Fat Thursday right around the corner, let's get started. Here's a list of the ingredients you'll need, which you can also find in the video description. A link to my blog where you can find all my recipes will also be included below the video. First, sift two cups of all-purpose flour, then add one teaspoon of powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, four tablespoons of 18% whipping cream, four egg yolks, and one tablespoon of vinegar or spirits. Mix it until it combines into a uniform dough. First, I mixed it with a fork for a while, then I kneaded into a uniform dough with my hands. After kneading, this is what the dough's consistency should look like. The dough is stretchy and yellow, and now we are going to pound it with a mallet. We must do this to properly aerate the dough. I'll roll it out for a bit, then just pound with the mallet into the dough. I'll repeat this process several times. I'll roll it out for a bit, then fold it in half, then pound again with a mallet into the dough. The longer we do this, the more air bubbles there'll be in our dough. It'll be more aerated, more crispy. Then I divided the dough into smaller pieces. Roll it out thinly. The thinner the fawerki, the crispier they'll be. Then divide it into smaller pieces about three centimeters, more or less, by 10. And we form the shape of the forward. You'll get about 70 pieces from the portion given, depending on how big you make them. Heat the oil to 170 to 180 degrees and fry until golden brown on each side. If you don't have a thermometer, the right time is when you put the bag on the oil and it comes out real quick. That means the temperature is right, the oil isn't too cold. As you can see, you can already see these air bubbles on the fried fawerki, sprinkled with lots of powdered sugar and it's ready. As you can see, the preparation is real simple. Be sure to get ready. I hope you have a pleasant evening and I'll talk to you soon.